fourth year in his third season. He had a Pro Bowl caliber year. And arguably should have been, you know, selected to the to the Pro Bowl. And uh, you know, Brent has given me a lot of great advice and help on routes. Whenever well, I'll come back with a question, you know, he'll just give me little pointers, like on pass sets. You know, I'm not. He didn't block much coming out of college either. And uh, he's like, you know, you just got to keep your hips straight, keep your eyes right on their hips, and you know, stay inside out. And uh, he gave me some good advice when, uh, when I first came to training camp. You know, I go, wow, the speed of the game, you know, it really picks up here when, when you get all the vets in. He goes, listen, because, you know, you hear all that, people talk about the speed of the game. You know, none of it matters. What matters is what you do. If you, if you run the right play and do the right thing, none of that matters. You're going to be in the spot you're supposed to be in. So the windows might be a little smaller, but you'll still be in the right spot and be able to make the play. And you know, that, that was some great advice for him. So I'm like, wow, you know, who cares about the speed of the game? I'm just going to go out there, you know, do what I can do to the best of my ability and run the precise route and you know, try to do that. And you know, that really helped me out a lot. Do you think you've kind of adapted uh, then pretty well? I mean, how, how do you think your camp's going? I think a lot of people are taking turns from heads. Yeah, I, th I think the camp's going well. You know, I'm, uh, I think I've got some work to do on, you know, some some areas, but I've, uh, I've shown some of the things I can do to, to help the team. And, you know, I'm playing hard, whether I'm getting reps with the ones, twos, threes, tens, you know, I'm, I, I just want to show the coaches I finish every play and I play to the whistle. And uh, I think I can catch the ball well and, you know, help in the, in the blocking game, running game as well. So, you know, I'm, I just want to come out here and show the coaches what kind of player and person I am on the field. It looks like the last two days you've gotten some more reps with the ones and the twos. Is that because of injuries or are there special packages that call for you to be on the field uh, with those groups? Um, I'm not sure. You know, I just whenever the coaches tell me to go in, I, I run in. You know, if they tell me to go in and there's nobody else on the field, you know, I'm gonna do that. You know, so I, I'm not really sure what uh, you know what the reasoning is with the, with the reps I'm getting. I'm just you know taking it with a grain of salt, just running like you know if I'm with the threes, I'm do the same thing if I was with the ones. Uh, how's it been going with with the ones as opposed to OTAs? You feel like you have picked up a lot since then, and how do you feel mentally out there knowing oh, yeah. what to do? The OTAs mentally was my biggest thing. Was trying to you know pick up the concepts of the offense, and you have to be a lot more technically sound, obviously at this level than you do in, in college. Especially coming from a smaller level in college, you get out athlete a lot of people and be stronger than them. In the NFL, you're not going to be stronger than the guy next to you when you're lining up next to Trent Cole or, you know, some you know, all-pro defensive end. You're obviously not going to out-athletic them and out-power them. You have to be tech very technically sound to give yourself a chance to win. And that's really the thing that I had, I had to get. And, uh, you know, after OTAs, um, I think that really that really started coming coming to me. Now in training camp, I've really worked on my technique and in that aspect of it, and I think it's helping me. Does it help you also to have a lot of young guys at the other school positions too? For this to be such a young core on this team. Oh yeah, because we know all the guys are going through the same thing. If we have we have some issues like adapting, we know you know he's a rookie too. This guy's you know, I'm 23. The average age on the team is 24.1 years. I heard. So I mean, we got a lot of young guys that you know we relate to each other really well, and I think that's going to help us in the long run. I've heard a lot of players quote that 24.1. Andy say that's the first day they camp to everybody. Yeah, Andy. Okay. Andy came in and told us. He goes, you guys know that people aren't. You know, counting us in as a contender or whatever, and we like that. You know, our, our average age is 24.1 years. You know, he said he feels younger. He feels 10 years younger now. Uh, you know, being around all of us all the time. But he did tell us that. But you know, that's people think that might be you know a downfall. I think it's a plus because we're all pushing each other and we're real competitive during camp. You know, otherwise some you know some veteran camps might be a little slower. And we like you know to pick up the pace where young guys like to run around. What about special teams? Is that something you had experience with in the past, or how are those that part of practice going out here? Oh yeah, I've had a lot of experience with special teams in the past, and you know that's a very big aspect of the game. You know, on the Eagles, we devote one third of everything to our special teams. You know, that's something that Coach Reed makes sure that that we do, that he he lets us know when we come in. If you're going to be on this team, you're going to play special teams. I mean, that's something I look forward to. You know, I, I'm a, a big guy that can run. And I like to hit people. You know, you know, I'm a, give my best effort out there on special teams to help the team any way I can. Bobby April even said that when they're looking at tape uh, at certain draft prospects, they look at special teams also. Does that surprise you at all? Oh no, I I was very very well aware of that, especially with uh, tight ends. And that's a position where you're used on special teams a lot because you're a bigger guy and you should be mobile if you can, you know, run around and catch balls and obviously you have to block too. So the tight end position is really big in the special teams and, you know, most of the teams ask you straight up, how do you feel about special teams? And I, you know, I tried to make it known that I'm, you know, all about special teams, I'm not a guy that says, you know, I'm just going to play offense or just going to play defense. You know, I really want to go out there and you know, help as in many ways as I can. Thanks a lot. Yeah, you're uh, competing with uh, with Cornelius. How much do you have an eye on him and watching what he's doing, and how much does that factor in, in, in your mind? 
uh, we don't we don't really see it as competing against each other. We're just trying to you know push each other to get better. That's that's the feel around the group. We got a, you know we got a great group of guys and. One, the biggest thing when I first came, first got drafted, coming to OTAs and you know rookie minicamp, I didn't know what to think. You know, I got, I got drafted to a team that had a couple of you know younger tight ends as well. And when I got in, I didn't know if it was going to be a, you know a competitive feeling, if we we're going to be you know at each other or whatever. And I came in and it was it was great because those guys really helped me out a lot, Cornelius and Martin and Brent. They uh, you know if I run a route, they they call me and be like, hey, you need to you need to do this to try to help me get better. So, I mean, if you're competing with a guy, you're not going to help him, you know, try to help him get better. We all know we're all Eagles right now, and, you know, we're all trying to be as good as we can. We're, uh, you know, we got our eyes on, on the championship, and that's, you know, that's what we're working towards. And people, like you said, at 24.1 years of age, as the average, we're not really looking at it. But if, if you're looking at the skill positions, wide receiver you knew coming in was going to be was pretty stacked up. Now that Cornelius' knee is uh, getting better, and, and you're coming into form, it looks like you have a pretty formidable tight end squad as well. Oh yeah, I think I think we have a you know very skilled tight end group and uh, you know especially with Brent there to uh, you know he's like a running example every play we see Brent do something and you know that's the way you're supposed to do it more more often than not and it's really good for a player to be able to come in and see it done and just be able to try to match that instead of coming in and, and trying to do something and have a coach try to coach you how to do it if you see it done by another player it shows you exactly what you're supposed to be doing in that play. Stuff, but thank you. I'm, I'm sorry if I didn't know what I was trying to